see that you're all in such good spirits tonight. <laughs> well, first of all, everybody, good evening. My name is Angela Marino. I'm the proud director of orchestras here at Holmes Junior High. I'll also be your master of ceremonies for this evening's Holmes Orchestra program finale concert. And I want to welcome you all to this evening's end of the year musical festivities and thank you friends and family and community members for coming out to support these fine young musicians. Tonight's concert is a culmination of a year of dedicated work by our students beginning from the start of the school year at the end of August to present. These musicians have worked together daily in the classroom as a group and diligently in private practice to prepare for this, their final public performance of the school year. The Holmes Junior High community is incredibly proud of our music program and the positive impact it's having in the lives of so many of our home students. The music program as a whole is an excellent example of dedication, teamwork, school pride, and student connectedness and excellence in student achievement. I'd like to take this time to thank all of our music advocates across our vast music program, both students and parents, community members, and all the donors who support this program above and beyond what the district could ever imagine. A year ago this week, I announced to the orchestra community that the advocacy battle of the specialist versus the generalist model of teacher assignments had been overwhelmingly decided by the strength of our orchestra program's resilience and advocacy, and the specialist model had prevailed. I warned that if I were to be replaced by a non-string player, that the Holmes Orchestra program in 24 years of my life's work would fall into the immediate decay and mass exodus would ensue. The quote that stood out most vividly, if you will recall, was, no thank you. We don't want a trombone player teaching our string students how to play a string instrument. We demand highly specialized string pedagogy for our Holmes Orchestra students. And, and Niles, I demand some light because I'm 50 years old and I cannot see. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. There you go, man. Whoa. Guys, just saying the quote out loud um, still seems completely unnecessary and like it was taken from a page from the Twilight Zone. It was, a re it was ridiculous then as it is now, but at the time it was necessary, it was a necessary defense against the unraveling of decades of a specialist teaching tradition that had been so defining to the excellence of our district-wide music program. The music community smartly rejected the generalist path, and we are now dealing with the rebuilding process and the aftermath of these poor administrative decisions. I'm proud to announce that since that time, the Holmes Orchestra program has continued to reach new enrollment heights and we are looking forward to having the biggest orchestras in the history of our program next year. The eighth and ninth grade orchestra is gonna be climbing from 75 to 85 students, and the intermediate orchestra is holding at 45 students, which is the highest either orchestras have ever been. These levels of growth are truly inspiring and motivating for me, and I look forward to continuing to provide my service to the Holmes Music Program, and I remain its strongest advocate and voice of reason. Sadly, again, this year we face further choreographed mismanagement at the site and district administrative levels by the scheduling of audition performance ensembles seventh period at Davis High School. This decision by DHS administration is causing unnecessary barriers and conflicts for dozens of my students, which in turn is causing a mass drop in enrollment. Worse off, it is causing students to have to choose between playing in their orchestra or having an internship or a job, caretaking a family member, preparing college apps, studying for AP tests, and participating in a sport, etc. The list goes on and on. All of this at the height of the DHS orchestra's program success. This situation is totally preventable and did not need to happen in the first place. And, and by the way, this is my 24th year at Davis High School, and it's never been a problem. Never a problem. The mishandling of our music class schedules at DHS by administrators goes against decades of tradition 
and respect for the music program as a whole by decision makers who understood the value it has had in the lives of thousands of our students. If there were a time to make your opinion heard on this situation, that time is right now. People, see my email and Canvas announcement outlining the issues where I provide all the necessary administrative contacts. The students and I thank you for your support, and I hope you will take the 10 minutes out of your lives to let them know how you feel about our music program and about this very specific issue. Um, because um, I'm an employee, and I've basically been benched on the subject, so I need all of your support. Now, ironically, I pivot to announce with great pride that the National Association of Music Merchants recently awarded DJ USD and the city of Davis its designation as one of the best communities for music education in the nation for 2024. This sort of nationally recognized award would not be possible without the amazing commitment of the students and the parents that support this incredible music program year after year. And I am incredibly proud to work in a community that appreciates music education and to be a part of a program that has such a positive impact on the lives of our students every day. And congratulations to all of us for demanding and supporting um, only the best musical opportunity for our students. Congratulations, everybody. Now, some of you might say, well, hey, Marino, it's a little intense coming out. I just want to see my kid play the violin tonight. Like, hey, man. What's going on with you? You okay? <laughs> Guys, we only get to see each other once in a, time, a long time, okay? So it's been what, since December? So I gotta fill you in on the details. <laughs> we don't get to hang out every weekend, you know? Tonight's performance is especially meaningful as we will be recognizing and celebrating our ninth grade members of our orchestra program who will be graduating from Holmes Junior High in just a few weeks and I'm excited to share this special performance with all of you and these wonderful Holmes Junior High students tonight. Now, um, organizational support for tonight's concert is made possible in part by the DHS Holmes Orchestra Boosters. The DHS Holmes Orchestra Boosters are a nonprofit um, organization made up of Davis High Senior uh, High Orchestra parents and Holmes Junior High Orchestra parents and who support our orchestra programs through concert and field trip planning, fundraising, advocacy, and outreach to elementary students in the community. DHS Holmes Orchestra Boosters has many hardworking parents who support this program, but they are always looking for new volunteers and board members. If you'd like to learn more about the DHS Holmes Orchestra Boosters, please visit one of the volunteers in the lobby at intermission. You might have seen them when you walked in, guys. They're the nicest folks you're ever gonna meet. Go talk to them. And we need, we need more parents like them to step up. There are some outstanding parent volunteers that I'd like to recognize for all their hard work for this year's um, supporting the Holmes Orchestra program. They were responsible for organizing and chaperoning all of our field trips throughout the year. The Holmes Orchestra field trips are an essential part of our program offering, and they are an excellent way for students to connect socially and educationally outside of the classroom. And on behalf of the program, I would like to sincerely thank Renee Hawk for her leadership and organization uh, for all of our field trips this year. Thank you, Renee. In addition, in addition, I would also like to thank Aparna Krishnan for being our program booster treasurer and helping to keep our program well funded. And, and also a huge thank you to Kate Rich for being our booster secretary. Kate is the mastermind behind our website and our newsletter and so many other numerous activities um, that she supports. I also want to thank all the many parent chaperones that accompanied us and assisted us on all of our field trips this year and all the event volunteers. And Miles, if you could just turn the lights up a little bit. Could all the parents who have volunteered this school year please stand now and be recognized by our audience? You are a chaperone, a parent volunteer. Thank you guys.
Thank you so much. I want to also thank our technical support crew, Tom Estes, who's our audio engineer, um, Davis Media Access, who will be filming and producing the video of tonight's concert, and um, Eric Richardson, our theater manager, and Nathan Bacon, our stage manager, for helping to keep our concert running smoothly. Be before we begin tonight's performance by students, I want to take a moment to show you what we call the Holmes Orchestra Program 2023-24 Highlights Video. This year's video was created by Nan Zhang, who used audio, photos, and video that he and other volunteer parents, uh, parent photographers, took from all of the orchestra events this year. In this highlights video, Nan has captured the essence of the positive life experience these students have shared this entire school year, learning, making music, and having fun as a team. And uh, let's go ahead and roll that now. Lights off. <laughs>
now. Thank you, Nan Zhang, for that wonderful artistic display. I appreciate all your hard work putting it together. And everyone, this video will be added to our DVD of tonight's performance and to our YouTube channel so you can share with your family and friends. Guys, give it up to Nan Zhang, everybody, for doing this. And Guys, a lot of those photos that you saw were from Jason Entau. Give it to him, our photographer. He's done such a fantastic job. And I tell you, I watch, I watch that video. I've, I've seen it a half a dozen times. And um, when I watch it, it, you know, it gets me pumped. I get excited because I'm like, yeah, this is exciting, man. These guys did so many awesome things. And then I get incredibly exhausted. <laughs> And so, are you kidding me? We did all that in one year? Was that three years? Like, what? It's all a blur at this point, but apparently it happened. It's right there. You saw it. Um, so, that gives you a snapshot into what happens in our program. It's no wonder why there's 85 kids bursting through the seams of our music building. Um, and kids are coming from all over the district to be a part of this awesome music program at Holmes Junior High. Guys, we got a special guest tonight in the house. We got Luis Coelho, our brand new band director and choir director at Home Junior High. Give it up for Luis, everybody. Now that Luis is with us at Holmes, we're going to be a powerhouse music program, and I'm looking forward to it. And you'll get to hear the entire music program um, next Wednesday. We're going to have a big Picnics Pops concert. We're inviting all you folks to come out, create a little. A little picnic dinner, buy some pizza from the, our new uh, Holmes Band and Choir Boosters. We're going to be out doing their first fundraiser of their existence. So we want to support them, and um, you're going to get to hear all the groups, all of Mr. Coelho's groups and all of my orchestras that night. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a beautiful night out there in the quad. So bring some chairs, bring a blanket, and uh, come ready to have a good time, everybody. It's a celebration concert of the end of the year. Now... Are you guys ready to uh, hear some music tonight? Yeah. Well, help me welcome to the stage then our first performance group tonight, the Holmes Intermediate Quartet, everybody.
here to give for these awesome, awesome seventh grade students. Now, thank you to those quartet students for that lovely performance, and we appreciate all their hard work that they've been putting into that piece together. Um, these kids are I should tell you that our string quartets are formed by the students and I throughout the year. The students and I spend our personal time outside of class rehearsing together during lunch, after school, and on the weekends, and at school or in, or in my home. Learning to play in a small ensemble without a conductor, as you just witnessed, really helps to challenge and stretch the ability levels of each student, and we are so proud of them for their dedication and teamwork. I had a really fun time working with that group. Now, while the stage is being reset for our next ensemble, um, let me share some ways that you can support the Holmes Orchestra program tonight during intermission. If you have orchestral instruments that are no longer in use, your kids have outgrown them, um, the DHS Holmes Orchestra booster is always accepting donated instruments for the classroom use. Please email me with a description of the instrument you'd like to donate, and, I'll be, and I will send you a tax donation receipt letter, and we can work together to uh, pass off the instrument and get it into the hands of a student. Lastly, I'd like to uh, tell you about the CD, DVD, and Blu-ray discs for tonight's concert. Orders must be placed online at the DHS Holmes Orchestra Boosters um, web store no later um, than this coming Friday, this Friday, May 24th. So we can get them back to students before the end of the school year. So we have to do a rush production to get them to you, okay? So no later than this Friday, please. See your program for the QR code used for ordering online. You can just set it up on your camera, click on the link, and then you can buy it right now um, so you own it, okay? Now, the orchestra program as a whole has learned many ensemble skills this year, which you will be observing um, all evening long, such as tuning as an ensemble, bow and left hand technique trading, techniques for articulation and style and rhythm studies, ear training, and how to expressively follow a conductor. In addition, we have shared um, in many motivating and fun team building experiences, including playing uh, an amazing concert at the Mondavi Center at the 20, 2024 Winberg Orchestra Festival. Um, it has been incredibly rewarding to be a part of these students' musical growth. And my hope for all of them is that this is just the beginning of their orchestral experiences together as they move through the ranks of the orchestra program and eventually onward to the Davis High School Orchestra Program where they'll get to hang out with me for another three years. Now, if you would, please join me in welcoming the Holmes Intermediate Orchestra led by Concertmaster Devin Wang.
Earlier this spring, Paul contacted me and said, hey, have you heard this video game music before? I said, no. Um, I stopped playing video games when Donkey Kong was popular. <laughs> so uh, he sends me the videos, and the music is phenomenal. And so I've gotten into listening to all these different um, performances and, and um, live symphonies playing this music. And, and I said, Paul, if we do this, would you mind putting together a multimedia presentation so the audience can understand what the music is set to? Sure, no problem. And he puts together this beautiful multimedia presentation. And guys, I gotta tell you, he has no experience musically, but he arranged all the music for the orchestra himself. He did a phenomenal job doing it, and he did it like in a week. It was incredible. I've never known anybody to be able to do that who's had no prior knowledge of anything about a conductor's score, or how to write for, how to notate for orchestra. Paul, you're a phenomenal person, man. Thank you so much.
That's the way we do it, everybody, at Holmes Junior High, if you weren't aware. That's the way we do it every time. These kids are exceptional. They are awesome. They are hard workers. They are disciplined. They are committed. They are focused. I wish one day you'd take just a few minutes out of work and come hang out with us in the classroom and see what happens. If you think you're shocked and surprised in performance, imagine a 75-piece 8th and 9th grade orchestra with a pin drop of silence and everybody working diligently as a team. You don't see that anywhere else in this district. Now, everybody, before we move on, 
Can you give it up one more time for this awesome seventh grade? <laughs> I tell you what, I always wish, I always wish I could have like a hidden camera in the classroom to show them back the first week of rehearsal when they couldn't tune their own instrument. And they couldn't play a scale in long tones in tune to save their lives. Um, and then just, you know, let them know, because their memory, they, they just lose track. They, they think they've always been this awesome, okay? Um, and every day they just think they're more awesome than next. But there was a, there was a time when they weren't that awesome, okay? And I got to witness it daily until they were. And um, that's what I'm talking about, the magic in the classroom, everybody. Um, again, this marks their final public performance as members of the Holmes Intermediate Orchestra. Next year they will join the award-winning Advanced Orchestra, and next year's ninth graders as members of one of the finest junior high orchestras in the country. And I want to congratulate all these seventh graders for an outstanding first year at home junior high and for putting up with me for every single day of your life. Thank you so much. They say you gotta be just mildly traumatized to have a little bit of character, right? And a thick skin. And Folks, seventh grade is a real learning curve for them. You know, they're, they're motherly sixth grade teacher, and they meet me for the first time? Good God, everybody. I am way too ugly to be their mother. <laughs> now, before we take a short break, I'd like to share a few important things with you. Um, attention ninth grade students and parents, the DHS tutoring program is looking for potential future student tutors and program officers to earn valuable life experiences tutoring and organizing the DHS Strings tutoring program offerings. This is a vibrant group of student teachers and leaders that are building their resumes while earning $25 an hour tutoring and sharing their musical talents, mentoring the younger students of our program. All students should consider participating in this program as a job offering or volunteer position. Um, now, also, anybody else, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be a ninth grader, but any, any student from fourth grade through twelfth grade should hear this. Um, students and parents, if you're looking for an excellent summer learning experience and um, throughout the entire school year, sign your student up for weekly lessons by one of our awesomely talented DHS Strings tutors and email me for more information. Even if they have another private tutor, having an hour a week with a high school mentor is a super fantastic way to bridge that gap for them between the junior high and the high school. And uh, we've extended lessons for all the way through 12th grade so kids can stay with a high school tutor all the way through their high school years. And we have kids doing that currently who are really enjoying the friendship they're making with their, with their tutor. Um, as the DHS Orchestra Director, I'm excited for this year um, to come to a close, and not just because it's coming to a close, okay, that, that almost read wrong there, um, because this summer, June um, 22nd and 27th, the DHS Symphony Orchestra will depart on an amazing trip to New York to perform at the world-class stage of Carnegie Hall. And we'll be doing that um, with uh, our band friends, and Mr. Tom Slaboff, and there's going to be 150 of us all together traveling to New York to walk the streets of Manhattan, everybody. Imagine being a 10th, 11th, or 12th grader and ending your school year on an exciting tour to New York playing with, at the iconic Carnegie Hall and being in one of the most exciting cities in the world with your closest friends without your parents. <laughs> yeah, that part's not in there, but I just added that. The, DH, the DHS Symphony Orchestra students and parents want to thank the community of Davis for all their support this entire year and are happy to announce that they have met their financial goals for the tour. And thank you for contributing to this, amazingly, uh, this amazing musical experience. And I'm also excited to announce as a program incentive for next year, everybody, the DHS band director, Mr. Tom Slaybaugh, and I look forward to taking the DHS Orchestra program um, that, that includes the chamber orchestra, the Broke Ensemble, and the symphony orchestra, and the entire band program on a fun tour to Disneyland um, in the spring of 2025. People say, Marino, are you insane? 
Come and chaperone one of our trips and you'll see how amazing they are. They're life-changing experiences for kids. Okay, thirdly, everybody, if you'd like to support the amazing student groups you're hearing tonight, the DHS Holmes Orchestra Boosters accepting direct donations for the Holmes Orchestra program, see that QR code in the program or see the booster representative in the lobby if you'd like to make a contribution or have any questions. Folks, take 20 minutes. We've got all kinds of cookies. And I've been told that the last student that made it to the lobby that ate a cookie during intermission was never heard or seen from again. That's, it's just a rumor that is floating around. It's just a rumor. It's just a rumor. Enjoy yourselves, everybody. Thank you. All right, everybody, welcome back. Go ahead and settle in. It's going to be a wild ride. And tonight we continue our concert with a performance by the Holmes 8th and 9th grade quartet. And if you would please welcome to the stage, everybody.
Guys, what you're hearing is not a normal scenario for a junior high school music program. These students are exceptionally fantastic, committed, hardworking, disciplined. Give it up again for these awesome string quartet students. Now, as the next orchestra makes its way onto the stage, I'd like to tell you about our field trips this year, which included the advanced orchestra performing at the National Anthem um, at the Kings game. And we had a 7th, 8th, and ninth grade trip to Mondavi Center for a performance of the movie Coco with live orchestra and Pizza Night Out. Um, What is it? Steve's Pizza is the location I'm looking for. Guys, go support those folks, man. They treat us very, very well. A fantastic family that owns the place. And we felt like royalty when we were there. Until the pizza oven caught on fire. And then we just all fled out the back door. They were very apologetic and gave us a bunch of extra pizzas, which we absolutely did not need. Uh, but we had a good time there. Those workers were fantastic. They put the fire out in seconds. It wasn't a big deal, except for the flames and the smoke and all that. The Advanced, the advanced and Intermediate Orchestra both performed at the Golden Empire Music Festival and received unanimous superior ratings on their performance from the panel of judges. And that's a commendable achievement, everybody. The Holmes Advanced Orchestra took a trip to Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk to perform at the Music in the Parks Festival competition, and we were accompanied by Mr. Luis Coelho and his fantastic choir and all of his wonderful band students. And in the competition, the Advanced Orchestra won Best Junior High Orchestra and Best Overall Orchestra, beating all the high school orchestras that were present. And not that we do this for competition's sake, everybody. I mean, don't get me wrong. But when we show up, we like to, we like to win, okay? Now, one of the judges, a 75-year-old man, I'll never forget this. I'll never forget this. He's had a long career as a music director, 75 years old. He shook my hand at the end of the performance and he said, looked me dead in the eye, and said, in my entire career, I've never heard a finer orchestra at this age level. It was a privilege and an honor to hear your group today. <laughs> Lastly, the Advanced Orchestra did outreach to their feeder schools and held an all-day strings workshop for 60 elementary students and had a full day of elementary outreach concerts on our annual elementary performance tour where they performed and role modeled musical excellence for a thousand elementary students from grades K through 12. In addition, our student leadership led by ninth grader Kate Napolitan. Kate, stand up, will you? Yeah, Kate. Kate, with her colleagues, did outreach for third grade classes and held a very successful instrumental workshop where kids could see, hear, and feel all the different instruments that they will get to choose from in fourth grade being played by older students at an exceptionally high level. Kate is ensuring that this important outreach workshop continues by mentoring, teaching our next year's student leadership how to continue to expand upon her vision. And we thank you again, all the chaperones and volunteers um, who helped to make all these wonderful activities happen and we thank Kate for her leadership for putting together that awesome workshop, changing the lives of younger kids. Now, please join me in welcoming the members of the Holmes Junior High Advanced Orchestra, featuring soloist Dante Baldini, led by concert master Clara Shu.
Right, everybody. What you just witnessed is a very rare and an awesome level of bass playing at a junior high level. Dante Baldini, everybody. One of the best. One of the best. Dante moves on to the Davis High Orchestra program next year. Looking forward to having him with us there. And if you've never heard Dante play jazz bass, you have missed something fantastic. We're gonna have to program him again with a jazz combo. We had a lot of fun when he was in seventh and eighth grade. All right, well, here we are. In all their glory, the Holmes Advanced Orchestra, everybody. Now, before we um, start with our performance, I'd like to invite all the ninth graders to stand up in the orchestra, all ninth graders. Would you please stand up? Let's recognize them, everybody. I want to congratulate these fine musicians for their three years of uh, commitment to the Holmes Orchestra program. It's been a wonderful for, thing for me to be a part of their musical progress on a daily basis, and I hope to see all of them at DHS in the coming years, and um, I know that they're going to continue to grow musically and challenge themselves and be a wonderful part of our orchestra program. So thank you guys. Great to have you at Holmes Junior High. Thank you. Have a seat. A lot of these kids are our leaders in the orchestra. A lot of them are doing wonderful things, um, coaching other students at lower grade levels, being student leaders in our tutoring program already. Um, and like Kate, creating with her vision outreach for our program to improve enrollment and student engagement. Um, such a joy to work with these students and um, eighth graders you got a tall order next year to step up into some large shoes to fill as they say and I hope you will take that challenge seriously and do your best to become next year's leaders now with that everybody let's go ahead and check our tutti and we'll get it going
guys. Let's hear it again for these wonderful musicians right here. So good. People wonder why the Davis High School Orchestra Program's one of the top in the entire country. I gotta tell you everybody, you're witnessing it right here on the stage tonight. These excellent musicians graduate from Holmes Junior High. They are the strongest feeder to the high school orchestra program and their numbers show it and their enthusiasm, their musicality proves it. And uh, it's just a joy everybody, absolute joy. Now, I'd like to invite, speaking of the, whoa, what a pivot. Speaking of the high school orchestra program, everybody, I'm not sure what you're doing Thursday night, but Thursday night, the 23rd, yeah, this week, this Thursday, 7 p.m., we're gonna be featuring all of the Davis High orchestras. And what I've done is I've, I've reached into my bag of tricks, my grade bag of tricks, and I'm offering every student 50 points of extra credit. And I'm not sure if you're aware of this, parents, but they all need to get a concert report in and like 0% of them have done their assignment yet. So they're gonna to totally fail my class, okay? So I gotta tell you, the perfect way for them to fulfill that assignment and be motivated and inspired by the older students is to come out this Thursday night. We hope they will do that. Starts at seven o'clock. Come out and join them um, so you can see the fantastic orchestra your kids are gonna be a part of in the future. And again, the Davis High Chamber Orchestra, Broke Ensemble and Symphony Orchestra, everybody. Um, it will feature performances by some of our senior members, um, um, including the uh, DHS Symphony Piano Quintet. There's a fantastic senior ensemble that I put together, um, Piano Quintet players. And we're gonna be recognizing all of our seniors that night. So part of the evening is we have a little slideshow where we spotlight each of our seniors. I invite them all on, on stage. I give them a burgundy cord that they wear um, in their graduation. It represents their time in the music program. And they earn that by being a member of our orchestra program for three years at the high school. Um, so it's a special honor for them that night. Um, guys, these kids have worked incredibly hard, um, the high school kids, so hopefully you'll be able to make it. Um, it should be a fantastic night. And I just wanna recognize again, the fantastic Intermediate Orchestra kids over here who played wonderfully tonight. Thank you guys. And on behalf of the Holmes Orchestra Program, I'd like to thank you for coming out tonight and supporting these tremendous students. And uh, we wish you all a happy and restful summer. And we'll see you on the 29th at our Holmes Picnic and Pops concert event, everybody. Have a great rest of your night. Thank you so much.